What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. Today's video is about uh, why judokas transition very well into wrestling. So let me start by saying that uh, we're talking about judokas who are uh, advanced, who are very good, who develop like some high level skills in judo. And how does that translate when they go to wrestling. Now, it translates very, very well. And so that's what this video is about, why? I think that a lot of guys will here will agree with me who've, who've done the, who made the transition or who've seen uh, judokas do, make the transition. And I'll give you guys two examples at the end of this video or a little bit later on there. In judo, <clears throat> it's very finesse oriented. It's very refined as a martial art. There's a lot of little details that go into it. Whereas in, in, in wrestling, it's more brutish. There is a lot of nuances, but a lot less things that they, uh, they tend to work on, right? So think of it this way. Judo is like ninja. Yo! Wrestling is like commando. <laughs> it's just an, a funny analogy and I think an appropriate one when, when you really think about it. With judo is that, okay, there's the footwork, the entry, the kazushi, which is the off balancing. After that, you have to have the gripping first, the gripping strategy, and then, so then, and then from there, all that has to be co coordinated so you can actually execute the throw. And then from there, well, there's a lot more techniques. Like these techniques also exist in, uh, some of these techniques in judo actually do exist in wrestling, uh, like the ipon seonage, which is the arm throw, the head, head and arm throw, and all that, but the hip throw, but you know, judo has a lot more than that and it has a lot of different setups too to get to that. Judo, you have a lot of foot sweeps. Uh, you have a lot of, um, you have the kazushi part. So they're very, their balance is very good in judo. Very, very good. You know, they're very centered. They're very balanced. It's very hard to take them down. Old judo, you used to be able to grab the legs. So they were even much, much harder to take down, even by a wrestler. But uh, they, they changed the rules because they wanted judo to not resemble wrestling as much because both sports are in the, in the Olympics. So then they wanted to make it more, um, you know, more spectacular, you know, with the frozen and all that. There are a lot, lot of, a uh, lot of things going on there. But anyways, there's a lot more tools. So they have sotos, the ushimadas, you know, the taiyotoshis, you know, and 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 you have everything. A lot of things in wrestling, pretty much, you'll find in judo. Actually, everything in wrestling you find in judo. The opposite isn't true. Now, there's a lot of things in judo, you will not find in wrestling. So that's why. Once the judoka transition, transitions over and then he <clears throat> gets used to, makes a couple of adaptations because obviously there's, his grips aren't available to him, but he understands that, okay, he has to grab the tricep here and here, here, he has to underhook it instead. He can lock it down like this. After that, it's like, wow. Like, I mean, it, he just has so much more tools at, at his disposal and he already has that very high level of balance coordination. Not to say that wrestlers aren't athletic, they're very athletic too. I'm just saying the judo, the judo get is just the judoka is just at an at another level when it comes to that. Wrestling to judo, pff, imagine you coming from a place where you have less technique and now you put on a gi, like you, you have no idea how to grip anyway with a gi. So like you're gonna get your you're gonna get your your ass handed to you. And it's funny because my 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 wrestling coach uh, he tried judo once and never again. <laughs> now my coach Nick Triton, two-time Olympian also nine time national champion and medalist and blah, 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 blah. He took a break at one point from doing uh, judo. He's like, okay, I'm just gonna go wrestle instead. And he went into wrestling and he beat the shit out of everybody. Like he was winning, he was smashing people left and right. And uh, super impressive, super impressive. I myself like uh, wrestled with him, well, he's my coach. So, you know, we, we wrestle and of course we do judo. And uh, oh man, yeah. I'm gonna say good times, but it was a good time, but not that's an example of a judoka who, you know, crossed over. By the way, guys, I do, I do read the comments and all. And, uh, you know, like I grab a lot of times, I'm gonna start making videos and answering more of the questions as fast as I can so that, uh, you know, you guys could uh, get my answers as fast as well, uh, possible. Okay, so I hope that made sense, guys. That's why high level judokas transition very well over to wrestling. Their skill set carries over very well. Opposite isn't true. So I just wanted to make that video and share it with you guys. Let me know what you think down below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. 
Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms and you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.